Okay. Hi again. It's good to see you. So, so I've got a, a, a question. Um, you know where, where we have all these different churches, denominations, and different uh, religions? Yes. Uh, if, if we presume that obviously God has made it, they're, they're a way to know what the truth is. Yes. How, how do you differentiate which one is the true one? Okay, fantastic. How do we determine which denomination is the true one? Yeah. Well, this is actually not too difficult. Because we can take all the Protestant denominations, mm -hmm. they began 500 years ago. Yeah. Now Jesus said 2,000 years ago in St. Matthew's Gospel, he's going to build his church. So we know that he built it, he doesn't leave his church 1,500 years before he builds it. Yeah. He builds it pretty much straight away, after Pentecost. Yeah. So it's 2,000 years old. Now, I, now we know the church is, is structured, it's the new Israel. Because you know how the old Israel has 12 patriarchs? Yeah. And they, they form the 12 tribes, and that's the, the old Israel. Yeah. Well, so Jesus deliberately appoints 12 apostles to be the new patriarchs of the new Israel, yeah. which is his church. They're the leaders, as we see in the Acts of the Apostle. People obey them. Now, I would say, and many scholars, Catholic as well as Protestants, say that the head of the patriarchs was Peter. These new patriarchs, these new apostles. Because he, he's the head of the lists of the apostles in the, in the synoptic gospels. He's the one who's quoted the most speaking in the, in the old whole New Testament. Um, and he's regarded by the early Christian writers as the head of the church. Now, that institution then must continue. When Peter's given the keys, they symbolize an institutional position, an institution, institutional role that he's given. He's like prime ministership in Isaiah 20, 22, or 22, 22, can't remember which, where the, the, the chief steward, I think, or the prime minister of King David's kingdom receives the keys. So, it's, so the institution is established. Peter occupies it as the first occupant. But with, as with every institution, it does not die with the man. The institution carries on and is filled with others. So that's, that's the papacy. So we have this hierarchy of bishops led by one bishop, the Pope, and that carries on down the generations. That's the institutional church. It has to be 2,000 years old, and this church is 2,000 years old. And so that's how we say this is the one. Now, the Eastern Orthodox have their arguments, but I'd say theirs is not the true church because they actually, their, their church is not founded by an apostle. They can pretend it was, but actually Constantine took a backwater called Byzantium in about 330 AD and made it his capital. It was not established as a see, as a diocese by a real apostle.